It's the holiday season, and I thought I'd do something special this month. With that said, remember in my comparison trilogy video where I said this? With that said, uh, I am planning on continuing doing these compilation videos uh, as well as reaction videos. Well, I did say that I will make more of these compilation videos, so here I am making more of them now. Now, before we continue on, I just want to say this. First off, no, I am not going to do a Christmas reaction video or a monthly special, unfortunately. Aww. Yeah, sorry about that. Instead, I'll be uploading a compilation video based off on my popular videos on my channel, the J Station reaction videos. Now, you may ask, wait, what? Just the J Station reaction videos? What about all 15 videos of season 1 or season 2? Now, Here's the thing, I could do those, but I think these 12 videos are something special to me. And I'll tell you why. I know I think one of the reasons why my channel has managed to reach this many subscribers is these 12 videos specifically. Well, more so on the dead girlfriend and the dead boyfriend videos, which are known to be the most popular videos, which you can click on the card. But that looking back at these 12 videos, I don't, I'm not a big fan of these videos. I don't love them, but, but I do think I should acknowledge these because without these videos, this channel would have 500 subscribers. Now, don't worry, I am planning to do one for the SMG4 videos as well as the Nathaniel Banning reaction videos, but I wanted to focus on these 12 separately. Now, let's get this out of the way. I am not the biggest JStation fan anymore. I don't hate him like a lot of people do, but I also don't watch his videos as frequent as I was in 2019 or in 2020. Sure, I don't find every video enjoyable and that I omit that he made some dumb decisions that end up infamous for the wrong reasons. Faking Alexa's death being one of those, but I will say this. In my opinion, regardless if his videos are fake or not, I do find his videos really entertaining. And like I said, while I don't find myself watching his videos as much as I did from the past two years, I knew there are some people out there who genuinely like his 3AM videos. And just to be clear to you all who is watching this video, if you still like his videos or my reaction videos based off him, that's good. You do you. Don't let anyone's negative opinions affect your liking of something. But if your opinion has not been represented by someone else, don't wait for that someone to make that opinion for you. You are allowed to do so. You have the rights. Sure, some people may not agree with you. Some may get angry. That's true. Some may laugh at you as well. But at the end of the day, they're just opinions, not facts. No opinions are right or wrong. With that said, I doubt I'll get all of these 4 videos done before 2022 begins. Besides, exporting these videos into MP4 will take like 40 minutes or something, but it honestly feels like forever. And the fact there's not many days left in December makes it more obvious. And yes, you heard me, I said 4 of these. Since there are a total of 12 videos, I decided to do 4 volumes meaning that there will be free videos in one package. Here's how it works. Each volume will have free videos. Volume 1 starting off with the Jester Exposed reaction video, while Volume 4 ends up with the Mocking His Roommate reaction video. I was going to release this video on the day of Christmas, but by the time this video is uploaded, Christmas is already finished. With that said, enough with the chit chat, let's begin the compilation, this is the INJ Station Reaction Videos, Volume 1. What is up my peace? I hope you guys can hear me right now. Now, before I get on to the video, I just want to let you guys know, I was just about to upload another video another one but before that I saw these two these two videos crazy ones yeah, plus another one 
in this second channel. Now, we're going to be reacting to these videos. You may not see me, my face right now. But we, I'm actually going to watch the, these two videos, react to them, and compare them. It's about two channels. One person thinks the other person is copying his channel, these videos, and his tags and thumbnails or any of that stuff. And the other person thinks he did not. And he's trying to make proof, lies about it. And, these, and we are going to react to those two ones. Now, it's about two people, and that is, as you can see right now, this is Jason's video we're watching, and Jester's videos. This is Jester's, and these two ones are Jason. I watched them already, all of them, I'm, I'm going to be reacting to them, starting with this one. Yes, Jester fakes every single one of his videos, guys, and here is the proof. What's poppin', guys? Didn't want to do this video at all. There's a brand new trend going around, eating at the worst reviewed restaurant in my city, sleeping at the worst reviewed hotel in my city. Well, today, guys, we're watching the worst reviewed YouTuber in my city. This YouTuber we're about to talk about right now is the most unoriginal, content-stealing, fake, just-did-it-for-the-money YouTuber you could possibly find, okay? It's like there was like 10 people in a lab coat at Scum Laboratories who just like cooked up and developed this YouTuber, specially modified and molded him into the scummiest, fakest YouTuber you could possibly imagine, guys. And he happens to live in my city, okay? It's an embarrassment to share my city with this guy. And he is known as Jester, okay? And Jester is like the perfect name for this guy because we- Okay, so this guy believes that Jester has been stealing these, this guy's beard. We all know that a Jester is a clown, okay? And this guy... <laughs> Actually, that's quite like, funny. I is a clown, okay? Today, we're gonna be unfortunate enough to dive through and watch his horrible content, okay? There's gotta be a reason why this guy is the worst reviewed YouTuber in my city, guys. Smash the like button right now. This one is gonna be juicy, guys. And if you're new here, make sure you guys smash the like button right now. And unlike this guy, Jester, these videos are gonna be bangers, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump into this guy's let's. Get it. Steal content. Star Wars. Jester is one of the most unoriginal YouTubers that I've ever seen on this planet. It truly is pretty much stealing what he's done, okay? Like, literally, from the very beginning, this guy has seriously copied and pasted my entire channel when it comes to thumbnails, video titles, video ideas, everything, okay? This guy even put my name in my tags. Like, this guy just wants to be me, like, so much, guys. Seriously, guys, if we look at his very first video... You know what he meant by tags? I mean, when you're uploading and editing your videos, you'll see below the description box, you'll see tags. Or tags. I see them all the time. Never use those. On YouTube, okay? Duct tape challenge gone wrong, okay? Who do you get that from? I literally did a duct tape challenge right before this video, oh, wow. guys. And then he goes and does all these stupid little videos, like, right? I mean, comparing with Jace, this one and this one, this one got less views. This one got a million views. J Station. Except the fact that the fact that these videos are being released the exact same year and time. Before this video, guys. And then he goes and does all these stupid little videos like Speech Jammer Challenge, Oreo Roulette Challenge, Slip Inside Challenge, Sriracha Tub Challenge. Okay, these are like sort of original ideas, okay? But the only yeah. problem about these videos, they don't get views. So what's he do right after this? I mailed myself in a work challenge. Guess who he got that one from, guys? He stole this video directly from me. Okay, guys, look at wow. this. And this one got million views, this one got less views, a thousand. Yes, all right, we're gonna click on this video right now. My name is seriously right in the tags right there, okay? He didn't even want to shout me out, but he puts my name. Like, how could you think of my viral video? Go and copy it. Put my name into your tags, but not say, yo, shout out to J Station because that's who I got the video idea from. So at the time of him filming this video, I didn't even know about this guy. Like, he was a nobody. He was, like, seriously irrelevant, okay? Like, I didn't even know about him. He probably got, like, zero views, okay? But then he goes right back 
back into making these stupid videos. Yoga challenge with my girlfriend. Water bottle trick shots. Crazy pumpkin pie challenge. Stuff nobody actually cares about. And then he realizes these aren't getting views. Like, I can't actually get money not getting views. And I just need that money. I love that money. I gotta copy So, okay. Now this... So what you're saying, that Jester, the only thing that Jester cares about is money. Oh, he wants the money because he wants the money because he could be rich. He wants to get more views because he wants that money. He uploads these cool videos because he wants to get more viewers. Jay Station more, okay? He's winning. I see him over there with some money, okay? He's doing really good. We gotta copy this guy. So what's he do? He does, I buried myself alive in the snow. Like, I did this exact same video again, guys. This guy's like the no-name brand of me, okay? And let's look at the video again, guys. We're gonna click on the video. And look, there's my name again in the tags, guys. Wow. And he doesn't even shout me out in the video for giving him the idea. Like, who else put a box in the ground, buried it with snow, and did this? Like, this came out right after my video, okay? So after that video, obviously, I saw this video. Because if you guys didn't know, if you put somebody else's name inside your tags on your YouTube video, it actually might pop up beside that person's YouTube video. So, like, oh. and did this. Like, this came out right after my video, okay? So, your be he believes that his original video came out before him. So after that video, obviously, yeah. I saw this video because if you guys didn't know, if you put somebody else's name inside your tags on your YouTube video, it actually might pop up beside that person's YouTube video. So like if I tag Jake Paul in my videos, when somebody's watching a Jake Paul video, it might pop up on the side there, guys. It's a way of like cheating the system and Jester being like the biggest scum lord on the planet has no problem with trying to cheat his way to the top, which he actually did, guys. Like he's got 1.6 million subscribers from just like copying other people's ideas guys but it wouldn't be so bad if just like once in a while this guy takes a good idea and copies it like i've done it myself guys like way back when the thousand degree knife challenge was popping i wanted to try it guys like it was a viral ass video it looked fun to do so i made a video about it but i didn't dedicate my whole entire channel to it guys okay. after he made this whole okay. burying myself alive in the snow video it caught my attention because I did see him on the side of my videos. I was like, wow, this guy did the exact same thing as me. Let's check him out. And what do you know, guys? This guy lives in my city. So wow. 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 Just wow. This guy lives in J Station's city. Okay. So I'm like, okay. At least he's at least he's not living next to your house. That's a good thing. Look at that bright side. At least he's not living next to Okay, cool. House. He did this idea. He did the mailing yourself idea. He did the duct tape video, but he's got all these other videos in there mixed in, so it's not so bad. I wasn't that pissed. But then fast forward two months, guys, and this is what starts to happen. I did this really viral video called Do Not Talk to Siri at 3 a.m., guys. It absolutely blew up. It got a ton of views, guys. It literally did. It pretty much kickstart my whole entire 3 a.m. channel, guys. This is how I went from making non-scary stuff to scary stuff like I do right now. And right after I post that video, what do you know? Guess what happens, okay guys? Guess what happened? This clown jester, I'm pretty much gonna just call him clown from now on, guys. But this clown steals my exact same idea again and- Wow, again. So every time he he ups Jay uploads a video, this guy takes the idea and just does the same thing. I mean, no point doing you're not gonna use if you keep doing that. And does a do not talk to Siri at 3 a.m. video just like me. And if you guys take a look at the tags right here, we're gonna scroll right down. And again, guys, I'm right here in the tags. Right here, I'm J Station. Oh my god, guys. Again, he copies my exact video, guys. Like, that means he must have watched my video. He knows about me, guys. Like, I live in the exact same city. Yo, okay, that's another thing about Jester. Every time he watches Jay's videos, he takes the idea and make it his own way. I'm like way bigger than this guy. He watches my video, he steals my idea, he puts my name in the tags, and then he doesn't even say, yo, shout out to Jay Station for giving me the idea to do this video. Is that so hard to do, okay? Like literally, you spend like two entire minutes shouting out your stupid Instagram, but you can't shout out the guy that you exactly ripped off and stole from okay guys 
This is serious now. Like, this is where you stole my entire chance guys literally okay it's not even funny another thing about putting people's names in your tags that have nothing to do with the video you're not in your video you don't say their name nothing like that is that it's against youtube terms of service like you can actually have your channel shut down and deleted permanently yeah, because you do this true. it's called tag stuffing and remember yeah. how i just said it's sort of like cheating that's exactly it guys it's cheating so it's against the terms of service you can actually be terminated for doing this exact same thing thing it's called tag stuffing but this guy managed to do it long enough on every freaking video until he could have 1.6 million subscribers guys talk about unoriginality guys this is just like plain now i get the fact why he called him not original because this guy is it's like this guy's obsessed with his videos that's what I first said when I first watched it. He's yo. Being out stealing, okay? If you did this offline, like in the real world, you like. I mean, hold on. Let me guys show you my comments right now. One of my comments is in here. I commented in this before. It should. It should pop up soon. Guys, I, I actually put it in my comment in, but not in this account somewhere. Somewhere in here. See, look at it. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, look at these comments. Jay, you are a wrong. A jester is right. Jay sucks. He's wolf in the wolf. Where your roof looks like a mess. Do not agree with I, you. I do not agree with you. I'm sorry. I'm on. I'm not you on your side, Jay Station. Sorry. If you look at the day I just said before, before, all those dislikes are just as fans. Jay, just like you. He, hey, Jester, is real like if you believe from Jester. And you are not my favorite. I will not watch any videos with you in it. Jester is a copycat. Man, guys, look at this. This is an argument we're talking about. Many people have been arguing about this. Now, I'm just going to pause right there and look at Jester's video. Look at Jester's. Now he's believing that Jay is the liar. Look, exposing Jay as the worst YouTuber. There have been plenty of other YouTubers who have gone over this, but I have something that they do not have. Let's pull up my phone and let's see what kind of messages I have from I'm Jay Station. See? <sighs> something isn't right. J, J, J. The time has finally come where the man himself has come to try and expose me. I was awoken in my sleep with thousands and thousands of messages saying that I just got exposed and it's all over. Now, I could go ahead and make a video that's 26 minutes long, but I'm actually not going to do that because he doesn't even need that much time for me to expose him. Now, I've got a few things on J Station that I don't think he knows that I have, but you guys are going to realize very shortly why J Station is not the person you really think he is. So, without further ado, but how come he's let's got get into the video. Views. How come he's got a million views and a well, lot Today, guys, we're watching likes. the worst reviewed YouTuber in my city. This YouTuber already taking the shots at my soul by saying that I am the worst reviewed YouTuber in my city. It's unfortunate because I thought that all my like ratios were in the green oh, and look at that. I didn't have any red or maybe an entire page dedicated to people hating me. But you know what? Let's get... You on, right? Like there was like 10 people in a lab coat at Scum Laboratories who just like cooked up and developed this YouTuber specially modified. He used a lot of complicated words there that I don't even think he knows what they mean. Yeah, 10 I people in a lab coat at Scum Laboratories. Who knows what just happened there? Who knows? We're going to be unfortunate enough to dive through and watch his horrible content. Horrible content. And that's coming from my boy J Station. Very first video on YouTube, okay? Duct tape challenge gone wrong okay who do you get that from i literally did a duct tape challenge <laughs> okay so okay. starting off the video already on a horrible note okay he puts up side by side duct tape challenges and accuses me of stealing his brilliant idea you know what let's let's go and check and see when those videos were actually posted oh okay. wait a minute two years ago today but he posted his one year ago why does he 
Okay, so in comparing that, it makes sense that Jester done this video before J Station, but this one they ain't got enough views. So what did J what did Jester think of J Station do? He copies it and gets love viewers. I mean, what the hell? What the hell, J Station? It didn't say two years. That's a little weird. It's yeah. almost as if he changed the text on the picture to make it seem like his video was older than mine. But as you guys can see from the dates, it's pretty obvious that my video came out first. Meaning, unfortunately, he copied me. Which is probably why he failed to mention the dates that they were uploaded. He full on copy and pasted the year of my video and put it onto his just to try and make it seem like he posted a video before me. Seeing as he's trying to expose me for making fake videos, don't you think that his video should probably be real first? It's already a pretty bad start to the video. So what's he do right after this? I mailed myself in a work challenge. Guess yeah. who he got that, that one, one got from, guys? You. He stole this video directly from me. Ah, J Station, J Station. You are off on a bad start, my dude. Two videos you are incorrect with. Go back and see uh, when I actually posted that video. Oh, look. Look at this. Okay, this one. But what about the other one? The one with the less... A whole month before his video was even touched. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now, now this guy is proving that his videos came out very early before Jay's Jay Station video did. Let's let's con let's continue on. So what's he do? He does. I buried myself alive in the snow. Like I did this exact same video of the third video, the culprit. Yeah, but but that. Uh, but Jay's video did In the snow, video. like I did this oh. exact same video of the third video, the culprit, burying myself alive. I still posted it before him. Yeah. That right there shows you at how good I'm Jay Station is at manipulating you guys. Three of the first videos he mentions in this video are already incorrect, and he actually copied me. Let's continue on and see what else he had to say. We're gonna click on the video, and look, there's my name again in the tags, guys. And it's kind of interesting, because he keeps showing that I have his name in my tags, but, I mean, they're not there in my in my eyes. I don't, I don't see them anywhere. That's a little weird. It's almost as if he put them there or something. Wow. By editing, like he does to all of his videos. And, I mean, why would I put his name in a video that I did before him? It just doesn't make any sense. Real yeah, but why did he show your name, his name, to, to the tags? Why was his name there? His yeah. name in a video that I did you before did him. It, it just doesn't make any sense. A real life voodoo doll at 3 a.m. He does, do not use a real life voodoo doll at 3 a.m., guys. What? No, J Station. You know, honestly, honestly, I thought it was bad at first. And, and then as it goes on, it just turns out to be worse and worse. His most viewed video was actually posted after the video that I created. Meaning Let me pause that. So this guy, Jess's video has been released earlier before Jay's. This one was released in June. This one released in July. All videos released on summer. Despite the fact this one got 1.9 million views and this one got 10 million views. That one's most viral. Once again, unfortunately falls under the category where he has stolen my content. Again, you're doing really good for yourself here, Jay. And then he rambles on for five minutes about videos that I've done before him and videos that I've done after him that are completely different titles and completely different content. But it, it's fine, right? He, he's got to have something, right? Because like so far, he's looking like he's exposing himself, not me, because I haven't done anything wrong yet. Saying that me sounds so crazy. And he's really greedy and selfish. I'm still way bigger than him. I got more than double his subscriber count. He's really greedy and selfish. Wow. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's like this guy wants to be me. He's putting my... <gasps> Did you hear that? He, he just said this guy wants to be me. Oh boy. Off that he managed to steal 1.6 million subscribers oh. from me. No. Managed wow. to steal 1.6 million wow. subscribers from a person. Ah, Jay, I'm sorry to break it to you, man, but I, I just don't think it works that way. Yeah, I think I agreed. 
you know, it, it doesn't work that way. And then he continues on for the next two minutes, rambling about how I keep trying to steal his videos, but based on the stuff I've showed you already, it's kind of seeming like he's stealing all my videos. Now, I'm not yeah, saying I didn't I take a few video ideas, but there are only so many YouTube video ideas out there. If your skin is so damn thin to the point where you get this mad when somebody does a few similar ideas as you, then you should probably leave the platform. If it wasn't for the content that I post, you probably would wouldn't have half the videos that you posted recently. Now, if you guys still don't believe that JayStation is stealing my content and using it for his own gain, like the hypocrite that he is, let me show you some videos that he has taken fully from me. So starting off with the classic, calling myself on FaceTime. As you guys can see, I posted this video nine days before he posted his. Wow. Not looking good, Jay. Moving on to the video where I decided to unmask Slenderman. I posted the video August 9th, and he posted his on September. Oh, actually, for once, that one, for once, that one got bet most hits. That one's a banger. This one did not. So, I like JC, version. I like the unmasked version from Smith. JC's version. I like just the fourth. Which means that I actually posted that an entire month before he posted his. Oh, also, if you look at the video side by side, you guys could probably tell that he took the entire video idea and copied me step by step. And there are just plenty more videos that he has fully copied from me. Let's, let's name in a few more. We've got Unmask Jeff the Killer, Unmasking Michael Myers, Ancient Genie Lamp, and the list goes on and on. And not to mention, he's been doing this to everybody ever since he started making videos, which can only mean one thing, guys. J Station is fake. Wants people to think that he is me. Okay, this guy wants to be me. Okay, like you guys just—he said it again. He—he he didn't just say—he didn't just say it once. He said it twice. He said this guy wants to be me. Yes, J Station, I'd like to be you, but I have hair on my head. Anyways, besides yeah. the point. But I'm pretty sure that's not true. I think we can take this as a good opportunity to transition into who is. J Station. Jason Etier. 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 Jason Etier. <laughs> you say his name. <laughs> Age 28 years old. YouTube phenomenon. Well known for his 24 hour challenges where he sneaks into home and businesses. The YouTube prankster J Station to be charged with trespassing. Interesting. Right underneath that says Ottawa based YouTube star charged after a dispute at the Disney World. Where once again wow. he was caught. Trespass. Honestly, it kind of sounds like that J Station is now a criminal. Now it makes it sound like that. Things are finally starting to line up. He has made videos exploiting the deaths of very famous rappers just because he knows that if he makes those videos, he's going to get a bunch of backlash, which is eventually going to turn into money. There have been plenty of other YouTubers who have gone over this. If you guys want to check them out, I'll link them all down below. But... I have something that they do not have. Let's pull up my phone and let's see what kind of messages I have from MJ Station. Here's a conversation I had with my good buddy, Stromedy. March 3rd, 2018. So a little bit of background story to this. The day that I messaged my friend, I noticed that he seemed kind of upset on his Instagram and I was just, I figured I'd ask him what was going on, which then proceeded to talk about J Station. Now, as you guys can see from the video flowing, this is a conversation I had about how bad of a person J Station. The guy is psycho. He was threatening to kill us, literally. Like, literal murder. I wouldn't with J Man. He is a backstabber, a bully, a selfish, cruel, very good manipulator. Okay, that is not true. That is a false. J Station would never act like that. J and Stromany would never say something like that. And he comes off as a nice person initially, but slowly goes downhill. <clears throat> This is getting intense. This guy has said so many things to us that if the world knew, his career would be over in an instant. Now, if you guys want to read the whole thing, it's going to be playing the entire time. But as you guys can see, the conversation does not get better. Strongly goes on to say that J Station threatened to end his life. And I quote, I'm not playing. He legit threatened to murder me and my friend. <sighs> And right when you thought it didn't get any worse, Stromini okay. elaborates with he abuses again, his cat really badly. I he almost beat his cat to death you. in I front of me. You. So I'm going to keep it scrolling because I'm sure it's still going on. There's that a very large happen. conversation there. But I want Stromini you guys to see the true reality to the situation like where J Station not only fakes his videos. Whoa. 
I want this guy in jail. I give him a few months and he be gone. Dude, he told me and Karen he was going to catch us off guard and kill us. But is he- This station is not a murderer. He's not a murderer. Just Massive kidding. manipulator, sociopath, psychopath, all the paths- Such a liar, man. You're lying. You're only making those texts so you won't- So you won't be the liar. So you are the liar. I don't know. You want people to believe that you're not copying his videos. He is on a whole nother level. So with that being said, let's continue on watching the rest of the video because I'm pretty sure it's just about to get a lot crazier. He was stealing my freaking 3 a.m. glowing green little thing. They were trying to trick people to think it's my video they're clicking on. Look at this, Baldi's Basics, that yellow text exactly like mine, guys, okay? And he's been doing this like ever since. And now he's angry at me for using a yellow box. On my screen, on my thumbnail, he's really angry. You know what? It, it's gotta be copyrighted, right? I mean, he must have copyrighted it. That's the only reason why he could get mad at me for using that, right? Here, you know what? Let me just ask Siri that quickly. Why would you bring Siri into this? That makes no sense. Don't get Siri into this. Why? Hey Siri, is using a yellow box on my thumbnails copyrighted? After searching for hours, I have come to the conclusion that no, it is not. I didn't think so. How about black text? Am I allowed to use that? Yes, everyone on the planet can use it. So, wait, I'm allowed to use it? <gasps> no. <laughs> Bro, there's no way. There's no way! Okay, I think he's overreacting a little bit, but I think... <sighs> wow. I think... I think I'm allowed, so I think we're, we're good. Let's, con let's continue on. Moving on to the portion... Oh, Siri thinks that you're allowed to use other, someone else's thumbnail. I don't know. I don't think I'm of the video where he tries to expose all of my videos. Let's 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 watch it and let's, let's see what he's got to say. Guys, if it wasn't clear enough that he's absolutely stealing my videos, like stealing just move, man. <laughs> oh, what? Wait a minute. Okay, wait. Did did you guys see that? How how the elf fell off the top there? Wait, that reminds me of something that I saw, you know, a few days before that. I didn't go there. So I want to bring you upstairs and cut you up and see what's inside of you, alright? Is that okay? Wait! Oh. Are you telling me that JayStation stole another video idea off of another person I know? Literally just move, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, so that one just came out three days after the other one. I think I can put any more emphasis on the fact that he is the, probably the world's biggest hypocrite because every single situation in this video so far since he's spoken has always just bounced back to him. I need to burn the elf in the shop. Dude, this is freaking gay. I picked it up. Yo. Oh, oh my god. Now let's take a look at his. <laughs> nice. and okay. Okay. So they both exploded. It exploded like it was an explosion. Wait. Elf on the shelf exploded? How am I supposed to know if it's gonna explode? Hey, I text him saying some response was so crazy. He texted back with something like, I don't care about the fans. It's just way easier to fake it and get the money. Like guys, he actually responded with something like that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He has really gone to the full extent of faking an entire text message. Let's scroll back to the beginning, where already the first thing he did in his video was forge an upload date to make it look like his video was older than mine. Two years ago today, but he posted his one year ago. Why does his say two years? That's a little weird. It's almost as if he changed the text on the picture to make it seem like his video was older than mine. So let's debunk this message, this fake message that JayStation created to make me seem like a very bad person. So I'm about to go in full analysis mode. Let's, let's, let's take off the suit and get ready. Okay, yeah, I can't do this. I can't even read with those. All right, um, starting off the conversation, he says, hey bro, good meeting you last night, dude, but do you fake all your videos? It's easy to wait till 3 a.m., just curious. And that got me thinking, I'm like, I, I don't remember ever sending him text messages. Like, ever, ever. I think the only time I ever spoke to him was on Instagram. But you know what? I I maybe I was okay. incorrect. I just know I did so, not. You guys are gonna believe him that he doesn't remember sending these texts, and now... Why did Jay Station show us that text? If he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Unless someone made a text 
parcel that someone went to phone and send that text. Send this message. So, I dug deeper, and based on the day that this text would have been sent, it would have been one day after my first collaboration with J Station. And to me, that is August 6th, 2017. So over a year and a half ago. Now backing up, as you guys can see, the phone, the, the picture that he used, it's actually a picture of an, an iPhone X because of this right here, which is an an emoji, which is only available through the phones that have face tracking, specifically iPhone. Now let's, let's, let's pull up Google here. And when was the iPhone X released? November 3rd, 2017. Dang, that's Boy, two years. If he took that text August 6th, how would that even be possible? Because iPhone X's only came out November 3rd, and that's the phone that he took the screenshot on, right? It's like he faked that message too, just like the entire video, all fake. Now, seeming like there's a very common reoccurrence with Jay Station's video, and it just seems like deep down, he just wants to expose himself for some reason. Okay, if you guys didn't believe me with that, then you know what? I'm going to show you guys how he exactly made that text message so that you guys can know that it was fully fake because I would never say anything like that. I've changed my boy Mike's name on my phone to Jesse Barron. And now I'm going to send him the same text that Jay Station sent me. So you received the text? I got the text from okay. Jesse Barron. So what I need yeah. you to do now is type what Jay Station typed. Guys, I went ahead and I changed the name to Jay Station because I think it was more fitting for the situation. Okay. Guys, Jay Station Why? literally just said, Haha, yeah, bro, good seeing you too. And yeah, bro, it's way easier just fake the videos. Guys, he fakes his videos. What the heck? Jay Station fake? No way. I, I, I'm sure you guys what? understood the example from that. Moving on to... Are you serious? You're literally serious about that. It didn't look so fake to me. It looks so real. Jay's videos look really, really real to me. Guys, if you watch some of his videos, Jay's videos, you know, comments are not real or fake. To the next part of the video where he starts to talk about how my videos are fake and why they are fake. What he should have really been doing is reviewing his own content because, as you guys can see from the next few videos, it's... It's seeming like a lot of his videos are really fake. Starting off with Jay Station going invisible. As you guys can see from the clip above, he just disappears out of thin air. Now, I'm gonna show you guys that anyone can just disappear out of thin air. I'm back. How do- Wait! It's a fake video of his called $5,000 Ouija board challenge. And right off the bat, you guys can see right away that he fully edited this entire video. For one wow. section of the frame, he cuts that guy's hand, and I bet if I look for two seconds, I could probably find the same thing on Google. Ah! Oh! Ouch! Okay, I'll admit that one look almost fake. That scratch look almost fake on Jay Station videos. Then the next one, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty funny. Elmo just walks into the room and pretty obvious that it's fully edited in since, you know, there's no shadows of anything in there except for just the doll by itself. But hey, rookie mistakes. I could go on and on and on, but I'm gonna leave you guys off with this very, very funny one that I found, which is titled, Do Not Headless Real Voodoo Doll. I don't even think that's English, first of all. I, I don't even think it's English. And right in the intro, says it all. I mean, the guy disappears for a second, comes back magically a one foot taller than he was Whoa. before with some fake blood not even moving on his head. But you know what? Hey, you yeah, know, was, there's I, plenty of videos I out there. I you know, people have done that. millions of videos exposing yeah. J Station. So I think I'm going to wrap mine up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm, I, I'm really hoping that you guys, you know, forgive me for even getting in this position. Okay, that's it, everyone. That's all I'm going to do. I'm sorry for the skips, but guys, know about this i saw the first video of this station after watching this one i saw this one and may respond to that one okay guys that's all i can record now thank you so much for watching this video hope you like and subscribe make sure you share this to your friends and family make sure you share my videos and my channel to your friends and family get them subscribed get those likes and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>
where he got where he got exposed by Jester and Jester exposed by um J Station and today as you guys see we are go I'm gonna be reacting to this video called the Kermit the Frog calling Mrs. Piggy on FaceTime. So you so you guys don't know who Kermit is. This frog has been with J Station for about past I don't know two months, two months. And this and as you guys see, we are about to react it right now. So guys, I hope you guys guys enjoy this video and let's hit five likes in this video and I will do a next one. So let's do it. Video. We got a very special one for you guys today. A lot of you guys know that I live with Kermit the Frog, the actual Kermit the Frog. He has been like really lonely, okay? I think it's time for us to get him a girlfriend. He actually knows Miss Piggy's number, guys. I think there's a chance that Miss Piggy probably has an iPhone. Every girl loves iPhones, guys. Miss Piggy's probably got an iPhone. That means she's got FaceTime. Right now, Kermit the Frog is downstairs. I don't know what he's doing, but we're gonna go down there today. We're gonna try to find out Miss Piggy's number and we're gonna get Kermit to give her a call guys I think it's time that Kermit the Frog gets a girlfriend this is going to be insane that's the like button right now guys let's hit 50,000 likes if we can actually hit 50,000 likes guys I will try to get Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog to start living with each other guys that would be amazing make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right now we got bangers coming all month J Nation with all that being said let's get it Kermit, where are you? What are you doing over there? What? Fortnite? What the hell? Kermit! Oh my god, I've never seen you play Fortnite before. He's fine, I just love Kermit, he's so nice. Oh my god, Kermit! Yo, you even got the headset on? What the heck? Of course! I'm getting a one by I'm gonna have to interrupt you right now, but I got something that I really wanted you to do right now. I want you to call Miss Piggy right now. What? No, 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 no. Why not, Kermit? I thought you loved Miss Piggy. Like, I heard you talking about her in, like, my other video. She's, like, so in love with me. Well, isn't that good, Kermit? Like, honestly, I I, I thought you were, like, getting lonely. Look, you're playing Fortnite with nine-year-olds. Yeah. Yeah, don't you like Miss Piggy? What do you mean, no? Don't you said you love her in the past. You said you loved her. She scares me, Jay. Jay, she scares me. Why, why are you scared of Miss Piggy? What do you mean you're scared of Miss Piggy? Why? Hey, Kermit, what did she do to you? She's all over me. Like, always. Well, that's good. You're an attractive frog. Uh, yes, but she's too high. Kermit, does she have a phone number? Like, do you know her phone number? Yes, I do. What, 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 what is it? I'm 800 Piggy. One 800 Piggy? Are you serious, Kermit? Yes. That's her real phone number. Oh, yes. I'm 800 Piggy. Kermit, you gotta call Miss Piggy right now. I'm gonna put her in on my phone, and then you gotta call her, okay? Seriously. No, I don't wanna call her. I don't wanna call her. Kermit, she's gonna be perfect for you. Like, you need a girlfriend. Seriously, you're just weird now. You just play Fortnite all day, and you don't do anything. You need... Yeah, you're all bummed out. You're sad as grey water falling through the sky at the tsunami of bl black sadness water. I have a girlfriend, Kermit. Why, Jay? Why? She scares me. All she talks about is tadpoles. What do you mean tadpoles? Like babies? Yes, yeah. Yeah, tadpoles are um, those little wiggly fishes. Not fishes, these wiggly tabs. That comes from frogs. That's a thing. A frog. Tadpoles. No, 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 no. Whatever, Kermit. You gotta put away the Fortnite right now. You gotta at least call her. No, no, no. You gotta put it away. No, no, Jay. I'm not doing it. I can't lose against a nine-year-old. I don't care, Kermit. It's over. You're not playing Kermit. You're not playing Fortnite anymore. Uh-uh. Hey, no. Please, please. One more time. Let me play. Please. Kermit, you're an addict. You're a Fortnite addict. This is not cool, Kermit. Honestly, I don't know what's happened to you. You're a bad frog now. Yeah. Oh, Jay, yeah, please. 
Please let me bring it back. Please, one more time. You need a girlfriend, Kermit. The quicker you do this, the quicker you can play Fortnite again, okay, Kermit? I promise after this phone call, you can play Fortnite again. Yes. All right, Kermit, what did you say the number for Miss Piggy was? 1-800-PIGGY? Yes, Jane, please. I really don't want to talk to her. Please, I really don't want to talk Hold to her. Hold on, Kermit. 1-800-P-I-G-G-Y. But why don't you want to talk to her, Kermit? Girl, I'll tell you how it went. One day, we went to, she wanted to go out on a date, so we went down to the pond, you know? Yeah. Yeah, a, a frog, we like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Yes, they're my favorite, Jay. You eat mosquitoes, Kermit. Oh, yes. You're disgusting. I hate mosquitoes. They bite. They're nasty. I've been gone a long time. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Kermit. Okay, so. Guys, just to let you know, do not eat mosquitoes. Don't eat mosquitoes. They're very nasty, disgusting. What happened with Miss Piggy? Well, then she, she was all over me. All over me. Well, why wouldn't you like that? She likes you, Kermit. She's a pig. Well, you guys are a good couple, Kermit. Like, honestly, Miss Piggy and you would go good together. No, Jane. Would you want to have apples with a pig? No, what? That's disgusting, Kermit. Come on, I'm a human being. I don't belong with a pig. I don't want to be with a pig either. I'm a frog. Okay, Kermit. All right, we're going to call Miss Piggy. I still think that you should talk. Kermit, come on. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay, Kermit. Yeah. It's okay, okay? Yeah. Honestly, you just call her and then you can go back to playing Fortnite. No need to worry, my friend. Don't be embarrassed. Be brave. All night with those nine-year-olds. Yes! Just once! All right, Kirby. All right, guys. So we got 1-800 put in there. Just going to save it to the contact. Oh, my God, Kermit. Look what happened when I put her phone number in my phone, guys. That's a picture of you, Kermit. She's got a picture of you. What the heck? Stalker. She stalks me, Jay. What do you mean, Kermit? What the hell does that even mean? She's a fucking stalker, Jay. Well, you look happy in that picture, Kermit. Look, you're, like, smiling right beside her. I was forced to. You made me do it. Kermit, Kermit, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yo. Guys, look, she's got a freaking FaceTime icon. Oh my god, we can actually yeah. FaceTime. We're just gonna press the FaceTime. Where are you going? Oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving you and Miss Piggy alone. If she puts up the phone, she's gonna come over here. I know, that's my plan. See you, Kermit. No. Yeah, Kermit, it's fine. 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 You originally guys say man up, so I put the word frog as in frog up, you act like a, uh, as in a man frog. Ugh, forget it, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. If you guys understand what I'm trying to say, bless you. You're scared, Kermit. He's lying. He he doesn't want Miss Piggy to come here. He doesn't. She doesn't want to know. He doesn't want her to know. It must be broken, Miss Piggy. I'm using my phone. I know, Kermit. I wanna come over and I wanna make you. I'm coming over. Hey, frog. Why does this dish want me to have, like, have a girlfriend? I'm a frog. I shouldn't do a pig. This dish lives down the street, guys. Oh, my frog. I gotta go hide before she comes, guys. I gotta hide. Where should I hide? Oh, my frog. Where should I hide? Oh, my frog. I gotta lock the door right now, guys. Oh, my frog. Oh, my frog. She's after me. Oh, my frog, guys. The door's up there. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. 
You know what? This pig is seeing you. You silly little. Oh my frog! 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 If you don't want me speaking to find you, just put that phone in mute mode. Oh my frog guys, oh my god, you guys see that? It says, it says, Kermit come out and give me a kiss, oh my frog, and it has a, like a yeah. pig emoji guys. Oh, oh my frog, oh my frog, okay, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna see, oh my frog, oh my frog, oh, oh, man, these covers are freaking heavy guys. Uh, uh, oh my frog guys, doors open, I'm fucking scared, oh my frog guys, I don't know where she went because uh, I need to leave the house, I'm fucking scared, Miss Piggy's sick of oh, oh, she's freaking weird, she like tries to kiss me all the time, oh my frog. So you're saying that frogs and pigs don't go together? Actually, that's a kind of a good point and a bad point. Apple? <gasps> yes, come on, Kermit. No. Do you want to go for mosquitoes? No, I, I love mosquitoes, Miss Piggy, but not with you. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Better than being with a toad. Miss Piggy, stop. No, Kermit, you don't want to get me upset. You're just so gorgeous. Ah! Miss Piggy, that was disgusting. Kermit, ah! okay. I've got a really good idea. What? Well, since Jay's got such a big house, what if we move in and then let our love grow? Ah! No, Miss Piggy, no. I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna 
go down and I go from Pepper Close. You know all my bushes and everything. I'm gonna go get them and my purses and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go back. It's gonna take oh, an hour. Can you wait for me? Oh, yeah. Oh my frog. She gone? She gone? I think she's gone, guys. I think she's gone. Oh my frog! Oh, guys, I, I tricked her. I'm actually letting her move in. Are you crying? Are you fucking crazy? Guys, she's trying to kiss me. She wants to make tapples. Oh my frog. Okay, guys, okay. That bought me an hour. Hopefully, J Station gets back before an hour. He can lock the doors. Oh my frog. I knew this was a bad idea, guys. I just want to play Fortnite. I guess, I guess that is it. That wraps it up for the video. If you guys are new to this channel, why not go subscribe to my channel? Let's hit five likes to this video to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I'm sorry I have not uploaded a, a reaction video for a long time. I have been do busy doing my re GCSEs, coursework, and revising, and all that. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace. Yo, what is up, my peeps? Back with another reaction video. So if you guys not are not watch my any videos and you're new here, so why not go smash the like button and hit that like button. Leave in comments below what shall I react to next. So today's reaction video, we are going to continue on reacting to free AM videos on J, J Station's videos. So make sure you make sure we hit five likes at least five likes in this video, and let me then know which other video I should react to later on. Leave a comments below, and if you haven't watched other my reaction videos. Go check them out. There's two of them or three of them. Link for those are gonna be in the description. And let's I was saying to call my dead girlfriend. Keeps on texting me at 3 a.m. And the title of that video is exactly what's been going on, guys. Literally every comment was saying to call my dead girlfriend on FaceTime at 3 a.m. So tonight, J Nation, we are calling my dead girlfriend at 3 a.m., guys. I'm really freaking scared to do this. This is not a hacker, guys. This is really like some paranormal entity or spirit that's been communicating to me through the phone. Smash the like button right now, guys. Let's hit 50,000 likes. She already tried to call me. I just didn't pick it up, guys. I have a good feeling this is actually gonna work. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right now. We got bangers coming all freaking Monday Nation, and we about to start the daily uploads again. Finally, guys. Yeah, I saw his video about his text dead girlfriend calling him and texting him at 3 a.m. I'm super excited for it, and you guys do not want to miss any video that I'm dropping next, guys. But all that being said, let's get it! Alright, guys.
guys, so right now it's about 10 o'clock at night, and ever since the last video, I have not gotten any more text from that number. But the very last thing I got from that text was this picture right here, guys. And I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. This picture came from my ex-girlfriend's phone. Remember, she is dead. She passed away in a tragic accident eight years ago, guys. Make sure you guys go check out my other video about when she first started texting my phone at 3 a.m. If you guys want to get the full entire story of what happened to my ex-girlfriend Basically guys, there is no possible way that a hacker would actually have this photo This was taken on my ex-girlfriend's phone Nobody ever found her phone guys Like she went into an icy river They found her body but never found the phone guys This picture creeped me out severely that guys But this was the last text that I got from this number guys And as you guys see, I actually tried texting her a little bit earlier ago to see if she would actually answer me guys because she only texts me at 3 a.m. And look guys, she did not even answer this thing at all. Basically what I texted her was, hello, are you still there? Answer me please. And I got- Wow, that's creepy. That's so creepy. I don't know, but if I'm right that someone must have found her phone, it's possible I give that a 5% chance that somebody must have found the phone. There's no way. Literally no text, guys. But tonight I'm going to be trying to call her. And if that actually... But still, she texting Jay on 3 a.m. It makes no sense. Unless she, her spirit, some spirit is, I don't know, possessing her phone. Works, guys, and I'm gonna be trying to FaceTime call her because my ex girlfriend did have an iPhone. Literally, guys, she only texts me at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's always 3 a.m. I have no idea why, but just exactly. in case she's actually gonna answer right now at like 10 p.m., I'm gonna try to call this number right now and see what it actually does. Originally, I was gonna hide this number from you guys. Like, I did not want anybody to try to call my dead girlfriend, but I'm just gonna go out here and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what her phone number is in case you guys want to try to call this number and see if it actually works guys her number is 902-347-8810 guys and as you see it says right there at the very top of the phone i don't know if you guys can actually see that or not but that's her number i'm just gonna call that right now i'm gonna put it on speaker Guys, I'm, I'm freaking scared right now. I don't know what to expect right now. This number has actually tried to call me before at 3 a.m. I was just too scared to freaking pick it up, guys. The person you're dialing isn't taking any calls at the moment. Maybe try sending them a text. What the heck, guys? It says maybe try sending them a text? Guys, this phone number is supposed to be out of service. So this sort of makes sense to me that it's not actually working. But it said try to give it a text. So I'm just going to go ahead right now. And I'm going to try to send another text to this number. What should I say, though? Hello? Can you call me, please? That might actually work, guys. So I'm yeah. just going to send it right there. I'm freaking scared, guys. It says delivered, but I don't know, guys. I have no idea. This thing seems to, like, only start acting up at 3 in the morning, guys. Maybe it's because it's devil's hour. Maybe this is yeah. the only time that spirits... Yeah, I know what 3 a.m. devil's hour is. Communicate with the living world. But if this doesn't actually text me back before 3 a.m., guys, I'm going to try to do this at 3 a.m. So if it doesn't actually text me back, I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning right now, guys. It is 2.58 in the morning right now, and I still did not get any text messages from my dead girlfriend's phone number, guys. It must only answer at 3 a.m., guys. So far, that's the only time that I receive calls or messages from her. But like I said, guys, it's easily been like three or four days since the last text message has been received from her. So I actually brought a couple items with me right now to help make contact with my dead girlfriend guys so what we have right here is three rings guys now why these rings are so special is because this ring right here is the ring my girlfriend got me on our second anniversary of us Whoa. being together guys i used to wear it i wonder how much does those rings cost 24 7 but eventually i felt like in order to just move on and just to let you guys know i already knew about this i watched half of this i try record this one the first time but it didn't work 
I'm with my life. I had to take it off, guys. Just seeing it on my finger would just remind me of her. It's so hard to actually get over her, okay? But for this moment right now, I'm actually going to wear this ring again. Now, it's a very common thing that a lot of people know, especially ghost hunters or, or any psychic mediums know that having a personal item that has significance of the person that you're trying to communicate with actually helps conjure their spirit up. So that's why I yeah. have this ring right now, I and I'm actually going to put it on guys we'll see if it still fits because it's from eight years ago guys this is almost the only item that i still have from that long ago and guys it doesn't actually fit i used to wear it on this finger right here guys it doesn't even go on anymore oh my god we're gonna see if i can actually fit it on maybe i can oh i can fit it on this finger right here guys honestly guys just looking at this on my hand sort of makes me like really emotional guys like i'm starting to think about her so much right now <sighs> okay guys I i'm gonna tell you, you about these other two rings right now and these two rings guys honestly it is incredibly sad okay like you guys know that she passed away in a tragic accident guys basically she crashed through the ice while she was snowmobiling guys she thought she was going through a field and it was just a frozen lake but it wasn't frozen in the middle of the lake she went all the way in guys right before she went out that night she took her rings off guys she literally wears these 24 7 and this one right here guys i actually bought it for her i think it was for her birthday guys it might have been christmas but i bought this one for her I would say maybe on the third year that I knew her. I'm not really sure, but I actually bought this one. But guys, she took these rings off right before she went out snowmobiling, right before her accident, because her gloves wouldn't fit on with these rings on. So she took them off, guys. Right after that, she passed away, guys. So I've literally kept these things ever since then, guys. These have the most sentimental value to me ever, guys. I've kept them so close to me all the time throughout this eight years of her passing away. And these are her rings guys so we're gonna put them right here right on the table while i'm wearing my old ring that she actually gave me guys and maybe this will actually help her reach out and communicate with me tonight because she it's doesn't so text me every night at 3 a.m only sometimes guys i also got a candle right now and i'm just gonna light this up right here guys they say the light of a candle helps attract the spirits to yeah, your location true. guys so right now let's check the time again guys what time it's 305 now guys it's 305 in the morning oh my god i'm starting to get really scared guys to be honest i swear to god right now i actually feel some sort of presence with me i don't know if it's because i have these items right now guys but i swear to god i feel like some weird presence like looking behind my freaking shoulder behind my back <gasps> guys what the hell did you just hear that did you just hear that I swear to God, it just sounded like some girl laughing or something, guys. I don't know if that picked up on camera. I swear to God, I just heard that. Melissa, was that you? Oh my God, what the hell, guys? Look at what it says. Oh my God, guys, it's from her. It's from the freaking number, guys. It literally says, can you hear me? I heard her, guys. I heard her freaking voice. Guys, I I'm literally freaked out right now. I'm literally freaked out. Maybe it is because of these items that I got, guys. What the heck, guys? Like, these meant so much to her. Maybe that's bringing out her energy or something like that. But I told you guys, she only answers at three in the morning, guys. I'm literally so freaking shook, guys. I swear to God. I just heard something. Hello? What the hell? Guys, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. I'm gonna answer her, guys. I'm gonna say, yes, I can hear you. Oh my god. Guys, I'm freaking scared. I'm freaking scared. Samantha, I can hear you. Oh, fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, you hear that? Did you freaking hear that? Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa, guys! Says, it says, why does your room Why does your room look different? Oh Whoa. Whoa, guys, look. It's typing again. It's working! Oh, no. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like it came from up in up in my room, guys. I just heard like a bang coming from the ceiling up there, and that's where my freaking room is. Hello? Samantha! I can hear you, just talk to me! You're sort of scaring me. Are you in my room? Guys, I'm so freaking 
scared. Are you in here? Oh, oh my god. What the hell? Samantha? Are you in here? Guys, did you freaking hear that? Did you freaking hear that? Guys, to be honest, I'm really getting scared. Saw that shoebox literally, literally, shoebox literally moved. Freak out. Samantha, please talk to me. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, guys. Samantha, stop. I know that's you, but it's okay. Don't you remember me? Don't you remember me? I know you remember me. I remember. I got your ring on that you gave me. Do you remember that? scaring me. Why don't you let me come in there? I'm gonna come in there. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Who's that? Oh! Guys, it says, are you afraid of me? What? Samantha, you're making me afraid of you. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You're scaring me. You really are. Don't you remember? Like, I'm not here to hurt you. You're making me think you want to hurt me or something. Samantha? Are you still in there? me why does your room look different she asked me that last time i'm gonna try to call her right now guys i'm gonna call i'm gonna try to call her if this actually works i'm gonna try to facetime her after that guys i'm so freaking scared oh my god samantha i'm gonna try to call you right now can't see you but i'm pretty sure you can see me okay guys i'm gonna call her right now i'm freaking shaking my head is okay Guys, it wouldn't ring before. It wouldn't ring before. Guys, it wouldn't even work before. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Hello? Samantha, are you there? Hello? You can talk to me. I'm right here. Samantha? Is that you? I can I can hear you. I can hear you. You can you can talk to me. Talk to me. I'm right here. Samantha. You can you see me? I'm right here. Where are you? You can talk to me, talk to me. I haven't Oh my god. Where are you? Are you okay? You okay? Are you in heaven? What did you say? I can't hear you. So try to talk. Try she to said, help you. Help me. She said help me. Yes, I do. I still love you. I used to think about you. I, st I still think about you all the time, Samantha. Please, like, do you love me too? Yes. I, I, I miss you. Oh my God, I'm, I 
miss you so much. I miss you so much. I wish you were just here. I'm wearing the ring that you got. I'm wearing the ring you got me. I wish you were here. I wish I could see you. It's just sad. I can't hear you. I can't understand you. you can't. Try to talk to me. Try to talk to me, Samantha, please. I haven't heard from you in so long. Just talk to me, please. Please try to. Please. It's okay, I'm here. Oh my god, guys! What the heck? Guys, I literally just got on the phone with my dead girlfriend. Man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Guys, I'm wearing her ring. I'm wearing the ring she got me. I'm gonna cry. I oh, Guys, it's been like so long since. I heard from her. Guys, it's just the, the same number she used to have. She's been, trying, she's been trying to reach out. Don't cry, Jay. I know you miss her. For her like Please calm down. Weeks, guys. I actually heard her voice. I actually heard her voice, guys. I want to see her face, guys. I want to see her face. I'm going to FaceTime her right now. Oh I can't believe this is happening to me, guys. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to FaceTime her right now, guys. I'm so shaky. Oh, my God, guys. It's actually working. It's actually working. She used to have an iPhone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm freaking out. Hello? Samantha? Talk to me. Talk to me. I, I can't hear I can't hear anything you're saying. Why is it all black? Why is it all black? I can't see you. Can you come to the camera? Can you come? Can you try to like focus yourself into the camera? I miss you so much. I just want to see your face again. There's a, is that you? Samantha, let me see your face, please. Let me see you. Let me see you. It's been so long. Please try to like focus, focus your energy into the camera and just let me see you, please. I miss you so much. Oh my God, guys, guys, do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this, guys, look, guys, look. Oh my God, Samantha, guys, this is the tattoo we just got together. This is really her, this is really her. Oh my God, Samantha, I miss you so much. I miss you. I miss you so much. Oh my God, Yo, is that the real guys? Those are the rings. Those are the rings that I was using downstairs. What the heck? How does she still have them on her body, guys? Look, those are the freaking rings. Oh, my God. Samantha. Do you want to... I'm listening, Samantha, please. Do you want to say something to me? I can hear you. Please talk to me. Guys, I swear to God, she used to always wear that locket, guys. And when she crashed, they didn't. They, uh, that locket wasn't found on her body, guys. She used to wear the, uh, this locket every single day, guys. She used to wear that every single freaking day. Oh my God! Like I actually gave that to her one day for her birthday. Oh my God! Oh. It's okay. It's okay. 
my picture in there? Do you still have my baby picture in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She put, she put a picture of, she put one of my baby pictures in there. Yo, where'd you go? Somebody to come back, please. Where'd you go? I want to see your face, please. Please, somebody to come back. Please talk to me. I just want to see your face one more time, please. Please. Oh! Oh, she hung up. She hung up, guys. What the hell? Did you see the freaking tattoo? That's her. That was her, guys. That was her. Oh my god, is she? What the hell? What the hell? Samantha? Samantha? I just heard something. I just heard something. Samantha? Oh my god. I swear to god, I heard something like down here. Samantha? Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. What the hell? The locket is here, guys. The locket that she just showed me is here. And the rings are gone. The rings are gone, guys. Oh my god. Guys, this is the locket I gave to her. Oh my god. Guys, this is the craziest thing, okay? So she was here. She was here, but we didn't see her. She was down there the whole time. I don't know if you're gonna believe this. I think she gave that to you just to remember her more. <sighs> but when she had her accident, she was wearing this. She always wore this, guys. She never took it off, even in the shower. She always wore it. And guys, when she went into the ice, and they pulled her body back out after, this was missing. It was missing, guys. It was never found. It's here, guys. It's here. She put like a baby picture of me inside of it, guys, because I gave it to her. So it would always remind her of me. I'm gonna see if it's still in there, guys. I'm gonna see if my baby picture's still. Oh my god, guys. This is me when I was a baby, guys. This is the this is the picture. I'm freaking out right now, guys. This is insane. This is insane, guys. And the rings that I was using are gone, guys. They're gone. Those were her rings and they're gone, guys. They're just absolutely gone. I don't know what. I just had them on the table. They're missing, guys. I still have the one of hers. It's like she was giving this back to me, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like she was giving this back to me. This is crazy, guys. Oh, my God. Guys, smash the like button right now. This is insane. This is insane. This is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me after eight years. She's been gone. She just texts me. It's like she's doing this for closure, guys. Like this absolutely devastated me when this first happened. Like she actually died. It was like I needed this to happen, guys. Like I needed this to actually happen for me to get like just to move on. And it, it's like she's keeping this to me, guys. Oh, my God. I'm going to put this in my room. And this is like, oh my god, guys. Yeah, I don't even know. I gotta, I gotta put the camera down right now, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cry, guys. I'm gonna fucking cry. So, that, there we go. I had to be honest. It was so sad, so touchy, and so lovable. I felt like I was going to cry a little bit. But this was so sad, and... God, I think the ending, it was more like a half sad, half happy video. Make sure you guys smash this like button and hit my subscribe button. Let's hit 10 likes. Because this was a banger reaction. I never felt so sad in my life. I really don't, I feel really sad. To be honest, I really do. Uh, I don't know what to say now. And go check out my last video, previous reaction videos. Link for those are going to be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.